I've been a wildlife biologist for the last 12 years tracking Burmese pythons in Southwest Florida. Previous season, we came across a pretty extraordinary sighting where we came upon a Burmese python wrapped up around a full-size white-tailed deer. These are things you don't see every day. For us biologists, this was the most intense thing we've ever seen on assignment. This was um, as primal as it gets. We didn't want to alarm people. We just want to showcase what our native wildlife is up against across the greater Everglades ecosystem. And on this day, uh, the team sat down and we watched this extraordinary event unfold in front of us. Eventually captured the python, removed the deer, got weights and measurements. We reached out to a colleague Dr. Bruce Jane at the University of Cincinnati, and he generates these really cool measurements for the gait analysis, the maximum stretch, if you will, for the python's jaw and their mouth. This study expanded upon that maximum gait by quite a bit. That circumference of the gait equates to 32 inches. It's just an extraordinary animal. I know these images are a bit intense, but we tend to fear what we don't understand. The pythons, large snakes have been doing this all through their evolutionary history. But the concern here is for our wildlife in Southwest Florida. As they continue to expand the range throughout South Florida, animals such as the white-tailed deer are clearly on the menu. And white-tailed deer are the primary prey for our endangered Florida panther. So this observation is one in thousands of occurrences likely throughout the state over the years as the python expands its range and has decimated our native wildlife. And there are cascading effects occurring real time throughout the greater Everglades. A lot of times people ask what we do with these pythons when we're done with them. They all get humanely euthanized. This is a, a, a pretty remarkable animal. They're here no fault of their own. They're from Southeast Asia where their population is likely vulnerable. We probably have more Burmese pythons in South Florida than they do remaining in Southeast Asia. My team has removed over 18 tons of python from a very small area outside of Naples. We try to get as much science out of this as possible. Images like we're sharing, that's why we're showcasing this information is to very much follow the science on this issue to work towards a more cohesive strategy for the management of this invasive predator that's here across the greater Everglades.